But we haven't really heard anything about this since last month, and that is drop pods. And I don't think we're going to be getting any more drop pods until the winter update. Drop pods were supposed to be this monthly thing that come in and drop content, updates for the game, quality of life improvements. But don't take my word for it. Take Joseph Stain's word. We want drop pods leaving the frigate or whatever it is, uh, 343 on a regular basis. Our goal is to get into a monthly cadence of a drop pod a month. And well, ever since the release of season two, we've had a grand total of two drop pods for the four months this season has been out. Yes, you can count the release of season two as a drop pod as it did bring some updates. And then June 10th came in and we had a drop pod. So it seemed like a good cadence. But then July came and went without a drop pod. And it wasn't until mid August. And so we got the August drop pod. And given the recent roadmap information that looks like the winter update is still happening in November, but it's more of an update. Uh, and we have quality of life improvements happening there with a drop pod, but we don't really have anything coming out when it says about what to expect for the next drop pod, if there even is going to be one before the November update. And since we're halfway to, through September, this winter update's happening early November. I really don't expect to see one coming this month or in October either. We already know that 343 is struggling a lot to maintain updates when it comes to Halo Infinite, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be just piling everything into the winter update in November. I don't know what 343's vision is when it comes to these drop pods, but they don't have to be anything massive. They just have to be something that'd be like, hey, we changed this for the better in the game. That just does such a huge thing mentally when it comes to, I'm sure, 343, as well as the community's mentality when it comes to Halo Infinite to see that like, oh, we did get an update and things are improving, no matter how small it is. This week is looking to be a very important week when it comes to news for Halo Infinite. If you guys want to know about it, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching and catch you on the next one.